How many ways can we destroy public education? We're trying about every way we can. It's wrong. It's unfair that we're paying more for tuition when we're getting less education. Not what it should be like here in California. We're supposed to be learning and uh, it's more like a prison here. Education is an investment, not an expense. If you cut higher education, not only are you cutting students, but you're cutting the future engineers, uh, you're cutting the future nurses, teachers, and so on and so forth. I love this campus and the experience that came with it, but I would have never been able to become a professional in society today without a degree. I'm a grandparent of people who go to uh, state universities and I help their funding and I hate to see this happening. I am a, also a retired teacher. Lay the blame where it needs to be blamed, uh, which is the capital, Sacramento. And now we say, who is to blame for this? Who is to blame for this? Who? I don't know. The governor? Who keeps the government this accountable? This put together without the support of everyone. Exactly. This, we this do. beyond students. It is our responsibility to keep this There's government accountable. And you ask yourselves, how do we keep our government accountable? How? You vote. You take action. We want to elect our officials that work on our behalf. They're supposed to work for the people. Represent this community. How are they doing that? I'd like to see the legislature pass the $305 million that the governor put into his January budget for the CSU. $305 additional million dollars to the CSU will help be a down payment on the types of uh, money we need to put back into the CSU that have been taken out over the past three years. To, in order to get to the level that the people that are cutting our, our education, in order to get to that level we need to graduate and they're making it difficult for us to graduate and so I don't feel like that's fair on us, it's making it harder on us. We are so close to having such a nice place to live that if we could only fund the things that are so important to the people and we keep speaking out about how important those are, that once we do that we might have a really great society. Students are now more educated and are more angry and are more willing to do things about it. We don't stop today. We go on from today.